My beloved, I'm sure Jesus' heart must ache this morning for the rich, young, and teacher of the law, man, who lost heaven in today's gospel. If we think about it, even though this man, faithful man, is one of the chosen people of God, and he kept all the commandments since he was youth, and above all, he knew Jesus closely, which means he followed him from one location to another, listened to his outstanding sermons, and watched his miracles. So that's why he called him good teacher. Even though the Lord Jesus he said, he told him, why are you calling me good? So as a teacher of the law, knew the word of good, it means absolute goodness, absolute goodness, and absolute goodness is attributed to God only, because when you say good in, in English, you know, uh, language or Arabic, it doesn't give, you know, the real meaning. The word of good back then was only to God. So that's why the Lord Jesus asked him this question, why are you calling me good? So I said, or I mentioned this, what I mean, that this gentleman, he knew Jesus is God in flesh. <clears throat> he knew he is a God in flesh. So obviously the rich man's expression can tell he liked Jesus and he liked to follow him, but he couldn't. Why? One thing he is still lacking. One thing he is still lacking. So the title is, One Thing You Lack, or One Thing You Still Lack. Now let's move on, since you know, we need to know more, a little bit about this gentleman, you know, story. Let's go a little bit more deeper, and let's call it, kept the, the, the commands. He kept the commands. So if we go over the same story, in the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 10, the rich man actually has five good and positive steps. Number one, he ran to Jesus. He ran to Jesus, knelt before him, called him good teacher. Number four, what should I, what should I do to inherit the everlasting life? What a beautiful question. And that shows, of course, he's concerned for eternal life. And number five, he kept the commandments. Don't commit adultery, don't murder, don't steal, don't bear false witness, and honor your father and your mother. So according to the law, the rich man thought he is doing or he fulfilled all the Ten Commandments. But our Lord, who wants to everyone, everyone, to be saved, he told them, Son, you still lack one thing. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor and you will have a treasure in heaven and come and follow me. St. Luke chapter 18. 
Now, we still, like I said, we are talking about the law, the law of Moses. So now let's move on to another point, which is Jesus fulfilled the law. What does that mean? I will come to that, but I want you to know when you hear the law or the grace of God. It's just like, you know, the Old Testament, they were in the fifth grade. The Lord Jesus came and fulfilled the law through His grace. All of us move, or we can move actually, to the college. From the fifth grade all the way to the college. So this is what I mean when I said Jesus fulfilled the law. The word of fulfilled is, or in Christianity, it means perfection. The road of perfection, it's open to all of us. To all of us. So since we are so fortunate, we live in perfection time. God's graceful time. And through the grace of God, we should walk by the Spirit, by the Spirit of the commandment, not by the letter or not by the law of Moses. Okay, I need to explain that. What does it mean, you know, we need to walk by the Spirit of the commandment? And the way the Lord Jesus again took us from the fifth grade to give us understanding and perfection, you know, road that's open to, to the perfection. So number one, Jesus speaking, saying, the law say don't murder. And Jesus gave us the spirit of the commandment and he said, and say, I say to you, whatever is, whoever is angry with his brother without a cause, not any cause that we should, oh, this is, I, I supposed to do that. This is my right to do that. No. Unless there is a good reason. Anger, it's very dangerous. Very dangerous. There is many verses. You can't believe what the, the Bible says about it. So, whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. So the Lord, He wants us you know, to have more of patience. And we need to ask for that. We need to work for that. And that's why we don't get into anger for any tiny reason. So that's how He brought us all the way up. If we fulfill His commandment. Number two. He said, the law said, you should not commit adultery. But Jesus says, I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. See, what a beautiful, beautiful, you know, words and beautiful, grateful actually teaching. And many people, believe me, in today's world, they don't know nothing about the Bible. When they hear these words, they say, what an amazing religion, Christianity, that they can see the perfection. And unfortunately, some of our children, they can see. They never saw that. But when they see it now, they come to Christ. Number three, some of the people would like to call others fool or stupid. Very easy to say that. Jesus says, whoever says you fool shall be in danger of hell fire. And maybe on each one of these, the Lord is still asking, are you still lacking this commandment? Number four, do you realize if you love your parents, wife, children, grandchildren more than Jesus, 
You aren't worthy of Jesus. Sometimes we forget all about this. We see our children, we love them. Grandchildren, we kiss them, we love them so much. But Abuna, please, we love Jesus more than them. Well, you know that. You don't, you don't need to ask me this question. But I need, of course, to explain myself more. Then why the Lord Jesus said this? He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Same thing. And he who loves son or daughter more than me, he is not worthy of me. Why did he say this? Let me explain. What happened, my beloved? We need to focus on the Lord first. Keep it in our life first. Which means this way we can obtain or gain more of His love first. So when I do that and fill my heart in His love, then very easy for me to love my brothers and sisters, grandchildren and everybody else, but not more than the Lord Jesus. And let me give you another example to understand it better. We have seen over the years, I have seen many, unfortunately, brothers, two sisters, father or son, or two relatives. There is a conflict between. We need to bring them together. Very difficult, especially when it comes, when money comes between. Some of them, they don't speak to his brother to death. His brother passed away, he would not come to his burial, to that point. Then where is the love of God? Then you love your father, your mother, others, money, everything else more than Jesus. So that's why my beloved the Lord Jesus said, whoever loves father or mother more than me, he is not worthy of me. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. So when you fill your heart in His, when you fill your heart in his, his love, believe me, sometimes you can love even your enemy and forgive others short, you know, their shortcomings or any sins. Number five, since the young man was very rich, and I will end up, you know, my sermon with this. One verse, one actually verse by St. John, the golden mouth. Great saint, great saint. So he says, there is no such a thing as riches and poverty. What? There is no such a thing as, you know, richness or poverty. Why is he saying that? There is some people, they are rich and some people, they are, they are poor. So how come he's saying that? He explains, saying, wealth is the feeling of sufficiency. Wealth is the feeling of sufficiency, which means someone to have a feeling that I am rich by the Lord, by my God. This is sufficiency. And poverty is the feeling of need, as you see the people. Doesn't matter how rich you know, they get, they want more and more and more. They are rich, but inside here they are poor. That's what they say and say. But truly, I have seen very poor people, but in the same in the meantime, you know, they are rich. They are rich. Inside the heart, they are rich. They're not greedy. And sometimes, believe me, they can distribute more than others. God bless you.